everyone, welcome to Five Elements Living TV. We're in the kitchen at Five Elements Living with Paula Umel. We wanna talk about the product that we make here called Voluptuous V. It's an emollient for the tender tissues of the vagina. And I think we said we've been making it here. I say we, she makes it, I get to stir it and babysit it. So it's really not we. Um, oh, yes it is. <laughs> well, there, there's a piece of it, there's a piece of yes. it. But how did you come up with the idea originally? Well, we've been doing it for four years here. here. And it was probably a good two, maybe three years before that, that a girlfriend approached me that was having menopausal issues with her vaginal area, discomfort, dryness, et cetera, which I wasn't of the age yet to, to, understand. to understand and know that that was something that would potentially happen to me. So I started doing some research and she wanted me to find her a lubricant online and there was nothing that I would let her put in her vagina. Because they had what in them? Oh my God, way too many chemicals, chemicals? this synthetic stuff. Fragrance? That, fragrances, you name it, just things. I was like, you do not want that in your vagina. If you're not gonna put it in your mouth, you're not putting it in your vagina. And she, she didn't mm -hmm. care. And I right. said, well, I do. You're my friend and I'm not doing that. So I said, just give me a little bit, give me the night. And so the next morning I sent her the list of ingredients and what I was gonna make for her. And I said, give me a day or two and I will whip this up for you. And she has loved it. She asked me to give it to friends of hers, and then she asked me to send it to family members of her in other states, and... So you were making it originally in small batches. Very small. In your home. Mm -hmm. And then I know that I requested it as well for my patients when you started telling me about it, because that's what we do here at Five Elements Living is it's mostly women, women issues, and women of a certain age that are coming for the educational pieces that you give them. Absolutely. So being a, a, a master herbalist in your background, it, it isn't hard for you to put together something like this in terms of what ingredients would be would be the best. What ingredients would be the best for that specific issue in the body. And then my years of working in maternity nursing, I, I know vaginas. And so young that's, and old. Yep, young <laughs> and old, and that's how it happened. And then we had that conversation here that one night about it and but said, let's put it out to the masses yes and she said we're gonna make that for the public and I said what and she said we are and I'm like we are <laughs> yeah because think about how many women don't want to talk about it they don't want to even um, even with a girlfriend or somebody that's close to them but there's a lot of women that that have certain issues that they call down there or they say it's uncomfortable. I mean, they have definitely have different words that they use, but it all means the same is that they're uncomfortable because as we age, it dries out. It dries, everything dries out. So right. if you're gonna put lotion on your skin, you need lotion in your vagina. Yes. And but not just any, because as we know, lotion itself has a lot of alcohol, it again oh. has chemicals. So what, what, are the, what are the components of VV? So people have an understanding, what makes it different than most lubricants Lubricant on type stuff? Because it isn't just about sex. No, it's not about, in fact, I didn't make it for the purpose of sex. Right. But it's, it's amazing me. how it has taken off. We have this one group of people that, that's even young people, yes. premenopausal, yes. who like use it for sex. I had a husband pull in my driveway one day, embarrassed but he wanted to thank me because he said his sex life with his wife had improved so much and they were way premenopausal people. So he sat there in his driveway and his wife said, my husband has something to thank you for. <laughs> and I was like, what? And they whipped out the jar of VV and I was like, oh, <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, absolutely. So we use a coconut oil. We wanted to put it, we keep it in the original container because we want you to know it's not coconut oil that you would you would put in food or No, or no, no. I mean, you could, it is certified organic and you could eat it, but this isn't the type you'd want to. This is, yes, it's unrefined organic right. coconut oil that we use to make this. And then I also use organic olive oil and we use um, organic beeswax. So the coconut oil helps to keep it a little bit firm but then the beeswax is to firm up the olive oil too because it has to be in a kind of firm ointment type base. Firm in the jar. And firm yeah. everywhere else. Yep. And the olive oil, the coconut oil, and the beeswax are all very nourishing for the tissues of the vagina. Yes. Because the vagina, like we said, it dries out. It's uncomfortable for sex. It gets cracked and chapped. I've seen women's vaginas and bleed. that and bleed. Yes, cracked, yeah, not from the uterus, chapped, but from the skin. And bleed, yes. Mm -hmm. Just like our lips can do in the wintertime if they get really chapped. Absolutely. And then we use wild jam um, root powder, and that is very specific for feminine needs. 
it's anti-inflammatory. Um, I know we've talked about, um, it's got some effects, the estrogen. The, the phytoestrogen, phytoestrogen and phytoprogesterone, yes. Yes. Yeah. yes, and that was specifically why I picked it, so it, it could nourish the tissues for those plant-based phyto hormonal Right, it's purposes. not just surface level feels good. Mm. It really mm. seeps into the tissue. Cell nourishing, right. yeah. And then slippery elm powder, because it is a emollient and it helps to lubricate the tissue and helps to, um, well, like when you put lotion on your skin, it just helps to soothe um, irritated and raw tissue. Yeah, because you, we've done a talk before with slippery elm for a tea. Because for it's sore throats. For the sore throats. Yeah, so this is for a sore throat down here. Yes, exactly. <laughs> And then calendula flower I picked, which you could have used chamomile too, but I like calendula for certain purposes, is because of its calming effect. It's calming and healing and soothing, so. An antiseptic, like it's just as clean, like it's a clean for, because it, you know, there's so many stories of, of um, women, they're told that they need to keep the area clean, so they have to use soap and they have to. Oh, soap um, is bad, And yeah. sprays and all that. And how do you tell women how to clean? Plain water. Soap is very um, hard. The, the vagina is supposed to be acidic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as we age, it loses that acidity because our hormones change. Mm -hmm. And so using soap, which is basic in an environment that needs to be acidic, destroys that acidity. So I have a vinegar, apple cider vinegar wash mm -hmm. that I tell women to use in the vaginal area to avoid using soap or um, what are those, like bath, um, what am I trying to say? The wipes, I know they make specific Well, bath wipes. wipes are like gels that people keep in their showers and stuff oh, to yes. use, yes. any of those types of things. I mean, you'd be better off really using a really high quality, all natural shampoo that is pH balance in that, so that it doesn't destroy that. But the apple cider vinegar helps to keep the acidity. And so that is a better way to take care of those tissues when you're cleaning it. And then, well, then we recommend using the VV to keep things soft and supple. And yeah, absolutely. And a little goes a long way. Um, Should we show we, them how to use it? Yeah, well, <laughs> well, we can borrow yours. <laughs> Maybe not so much mine. <laughs> But I do want to show no you what it looks like. No demonstration. No demonstration. Okay, okay. Maybe, maybe some demonstration. Okay, well then I will just demonstrate, show like literally, this little tiny bit on the finger. And so when we, when we make this, we pour it in warm and then we let it set. And then it, um, it, has, it, it comes to this. It's sometimes we, you get a little bit on the bottom where the herbs might settle. And that's like you said, the best ever. If you get a jar that has those herbs on the bottom, They're you're like lucky. dark in color. Yeah, that you're really lucky to get that. But it is an emollient. So it is, when you first put it in, it, you can feel that, that beeswax. But when you, when you rub it between your fingers. It warms up and it softens. And so there's just this little bit. You wipe it along like you would on your lips. You wipe it on the outside lips of your Which vagina. Which you can use on your lips. Oh yeah, by the absolutely, way. and I will. So you rub it on the outside lips of your vagina so you get that vulva area and then you also put it inside and this little bit is plenty for outside and inside. Putting Once it, it gets inside, warm, it, yes, it really it moves. It, moves. it slides around just like, So know, this little jar goes a long way. And lasts a long time. Yeah. Unless you're using it for sex every night, and some people do. Well, that's true. But so. still, a little goes a long way. But we right. also, not just for sex and in the vaginal area, but we've told people, like even just some scrapes and some psoriasis. Psoriasis, on the skin. absolutely. Put it on your lips. I've put it under my eyes before I go for a walk because when the wind is blowing in the wintertime, it keeps it. So there's a lot of great uses for this. And I just had a woman contact me. Her pet had this horrible open, her dog had a horrible open sore on his body and she used she grabbed her vv and used it on the dog and she sent me pictures and thanked me because she said she knew it would have been like a lot of an expense to take that dog to the vet and the vv was healing right the and if the dog accidentally licks it there's nothing in here that's going to harm anybody no, we can eat it yeah absolutely yeah. so uh, voluptuous v is available at fiveelementsliving.com also on your wife website as well and um, on your website, you've got, you've got a few of them, so which one, how, where they, can they buy it? PaulaUmelRN.com. Yes, and then we have a list of wholesalers, too, that you can buy from. And, retailers. Um, retailers. Right, that retailers can, in the area. That you can buy from. But if you have any questions about it, we have on the website, um, voluptuousb.com. If there's any questions, please let us know um, any questions about the products that are used in it or even how to use it. Yes, so, great. Tell us your stories. Yes, tell us your stories. Thank you. Thank you.